G'day guys, welcome back. I'm trying something new today. Yay, so excited. Oh, it's a bit daunting though. I am going to try and make a resin skull snow globe. <laughs> I'm going to try. Now, um, before I get into it, I'll just run through what I've got here. I bought a pack of these Christmas baubles, um, the ones that have the little screw on thingy with that on top and I just I took that off and with my Dremel I sliced that off um, and then got that so what I'm going to do put that aside I'm going to use this one today um, you could if you didn't want to trim it off you could just leave that and then you know seal the top but I didn't want to waste that height there you know so I thought I'll just make it smooth I also bought these um, when I when I bought them I thought they were just around but look and I don't know that I don't know that that seal is going to be good enough to and I, and I know you can put like something around it but you might see it and you can see the line so don't buy those when you're buying them make sure <laughs> make sure that you're getting the one piece okay so that's what I'm going to do it's going to sit in there this one's a small one there was different sizes and I didn't really know what size to get this one would be I think with that top bit on it six centimeters so yeah, I think it's about six centimeters with the top. So about five centimeters, two inches for that size. And the, the next one up was an eight centimeter. Um, and I think that's going to be too big. Um, right, so I'm going to move that out of the way. I'm going to use my little paper cup here. And I'm just going to put a mixture of, I'm going to go purples. Oh, here comes the rain. Oh, it's been raining. Um, <laughs> I'm going to do purples. So I've got some of this um, iridescent cellophane it's kind of it's a change color change it's got purpley greeny sort of a color in it and then I thought just to lighten it I'm going to add some of this really fine purple pinky glitter have no idea if it's going to work that's why I thought I'm going to mix some up in my little cup first and just mix it and see what it actually looks like so and also I don't really know how much to put in like I want it to be quite chunky you know, I want it to be quite quite a chunky look, but I guess we can start with a little amount and then always add more, you know, once we've added our liquid. Now, for the liquid, I'm adding half water, half glycerine. So, previously when I've needed glycerine, I've just got it from the supermarket or the pharmacy. They both sell glycerine for different purposes. Sprinkle some of that in there. Um, but you only get a little bottle and it's quite expensive. So I had a look on eBay, jumped online as you do, and I got this. Look, a whole litre. I think it was like $19 instead of a little jar for a little bottle for $9. So I'm going to have to make lots, aren't I? <laughs> I am. All right, so that's in there. Um, yeah, all right. Now, uh, again, I'm not sure how much it's going to use, but... It's not like I'm wasting resin or anything, so I'm going to put some water in there. This is just water in this one. <laughs> oh, look at it. Oh, wow. Okay. And then about equal amounts of this glycerine. And the glycerine is quite a thick, syrupy kind of a stuff. Kind of like corn syrup, that sort of consistency. And I'm hoping that will like, it should slow down the movement of everything in the water. Still feels quite runny though. I think I'll add a bit more. I don't think I've got half, half. <laughs> All right. It still feels quite, quite runny. I can't really see what it's doing. I need to like, because, well, this, the top hasn't got soaked yet. Probably need to wet all of it. Still got some floaty bits. So I thought I'd do this before I actually pour resin into my skull. I'm going to make pour it in there. Um, I'm going to cut a little piece of plastic. I'm going to seal it down with some UV resin. Um, and basically see what that looks like. Okay, I can't really, I'm going to have to put this into a plastic cup. I can't see what it's looking like underneath. I can all I can see is a little bit of stuff on the top. I can't see what's down the bottom. So let's just do this, hey? Let's 
scrape that out. I will use that later because I need to pour it into here. How's that looking? It's looking awfully dark. I think I've got too much of everything in there. It's hard to know. When I look at look at it through the side there, it looks looks awfully dark. I'm not sure how much stuff you need to add. See, I've seen some where people do it, and you can't see through it at all. It's got like a mica powder, and it's a shimmery in it. You can't see through it at all. But normal snow globes, normal, like <laughs> for snow, um, you can actually see through them. So, don't know. All right, let's let's do <laughs> let's do this again. Um, let's add some more glycerine. It's quite runny. It doesn't seem to be as thick as what I was expecting it to be. I might just I might just use that and and a little bit of water to see if that makes a difference. All right, let's pour some of this in. Won't won't go overboard this time. I think it's this that's made it really quite dark because it's so fine. All right, now because it's it does feel quite thick, we'll add a little bit of water. So maybe maybe two parts glycerine, one part water, because I do want it to move quite slowly, and the water really thins it down. Look at that! Wow. Okay. Never do, never been, you know, done this before. I, I don't really know. So we, we just learn together, hey? If anyone's interested in doing snow globes, um, but yeah, I, it's probably maybe even a, a three parts glycerine, glycerine to one part water because it still feels really thin. But look, I've got lots of these. <laughs> I think I've got like a packet of twenty or something like that. So. Yeah, I can I can afford to um, do a few. All right, now again, I can't see what that looks like in the cup. <laughs> oh dear! Right, pour that into this cup, a clean cup. Oh, look at that! It's much much lighter in colour, isn't it? Definitely see the difference. I didn't realise that that fine glitter would make such a difference. Look at those two. So this one. I can see through. I don't know. I kind of think that um, this has spoiled it. Definitely don't need so much. Let's put some more of this in. So I think this is really pretty. But I don't think you need quite as much of that really fine one. little bit just because it changes the color so drastically it's kind of like a mica powder isn't it, it just changes the color really drastically okay that's I think I like that I know you can't really see but I think I like that it's quite it's nice and bright nice and bright all right I can do something with that later I won't throw it out um, maybe I'll use it for something at some stage but not today Right. Oh, so the next thing we need to do is hopefully I've got enough to fill in that. Like it, it feels thicker than water, but thinner than glycerine. So I think that's good. All right. Um, now I need to put this into something while I pour, and I need to go and find a funnel. I think another one of these will work nicely, just to sit it there like that otherwise you know how are you going to fill it up it's rolling around everywhere actually i don't think i need a funnel i'll just um i'll pour back into my little paper cup yes that way we're not making too much of a mess there we go actually i better not fill it that much <laughs> i know from peer previous experience that if you overfill your cup you make a mess and it drips down the side. All right, are we ready? Let's go. I'll hang on to that. Make a little spout. Pour in there. Oh gosh, it does take a lot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, I wonder if I need some more. 
What I'll do is um, at the end, I'll weigh it and then I'll weigh an empty bauble and we'll see how much it actually takes just so that you guys know if that's helpful. I think it's helpful. Oh, look at that. It's not quite enough in there. That's okay. That's okay. I'll just add, I'm going to add just a little bit more of the glycerine like that. Do you think I'm, I'm wondering like if I should put anything else in it? You know, you get crazy and you think, oh, I want to put this in and that in and all kinds of stuff in, but then you think, oh, I should just, just leave it. Just leave it. Maybe one other colour that's a little bit lighter. I'll see what I've got. She want to come with me? We'll go and have a look. We'll go and see what we've got, hey? Let's go for a walk. Around the studio. Around the studio. What's in this drawer here? No, nope, not that drawer. <laughs> I still don't know where everything is. All right, here's my glitters. Um, oh, maybe this one. Maybe a little bit of this one. What do you think? Holographic purple. It's just like a bit more pinky purple than that one. Otherwise, I've got some pinks. Hmm. Something big, you know, like you don't want it too fine. I think this one. This one will do, I think. Yep, let's go. We'll go back. <laughs> okay. Let pop you back up here. Not getting car sick, are you, from moving around everywhere? All right, let's put a little bit of this one in. Yeah. Oh, gosh, maybe I should have gone with the lighter one. No, oh, no, I think the lighter one. Hang on. Just when I came back and put it next to that, it's pretty similar. We'll go with the lighter one. Only because I want to use this um, holographic purple around near the teeth. So let's try that, hey? I don't know if this will be any good or not, but why not? Just experimenting. Pour some of, whoa, pour some of that in there. These, these are by Larissi. Holographic. We'll see how that goes, hey? It's given it a different sort of a, a pinky kind of a shade. Like, I'm not going to use all of this, but let's pop it in anyway. Now, I wonder... Do you, if those of you that do snow globes regularly, do you need to... <laughs> oh, do you need to leave a, a little gap? Like, you know, an air bubble for things to actually tumble around in there. Like, I haven't filled it totally, totally to the top. All right, now, um, I'm going to move all my stuff away. I need to get my little um, UV lamp. Move everything out of the way. Don't knock it. I'm going to get a little piece of plastic. I'm going to cut a piece of plastic and get my UV lamp organised. Right. Uh, I cut a little piece of plastic. <laughs> I kept losing it because I put it down. <laughs> I kept losing it. Um, it's soft plastic. You know that um, plastic that comes on a roll and you use it for like tablecloths and things like that to protect your furniture? It's a little piece of that. I've actually got it on my all my work tables. So I've got that. I'll put it there <laughs> so I don't lose it. All right, I've got some uh, Let's Resin UV resin. And let's... Let's just pop that around that little lip there, like so. I don't mind if a little bit of extra goes on and kind of squishes out. Put that on there. All right, there's our little, little bit of plastic. Pop that on there. All right, make sure I've got good coverage. Just going to tap it down, make sure it's got good adhesion there to or touching everything. Okay. Now, this is my little lamp here. Um, now, obviously, it's not high enough to go over, so I'm just going to hold it like so. And I'll do... I'll do 60 seconds. I won't bore you by holding it here. I'll, I'll show you the inside real quick. Look at that. 
looks like a spaceship. <laughs> it's got lots of little lights. I'll come back in a sec once the minute's up. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off. All right. Is that likely to be done? Oh, there's a drip. <laughs> I was going to wipe the drip off. Okay, that's done. Gosh. Okay, that feels done. Um, now, what I'm going to do, <laughs> just to be sure, I'd hate for it to leak. I'm just going to go around just where the little bit of plastic overlaps. I'm going to add a little bit more. Like so. And I'm going to do it again for another 60 seconds. Oh, it's counting up. I didn't know it did that. <laughs> oh, no, it stopped. Oh, gosh. This is, um, it's called Blue Q. B-L-U-E-Q-U-E. -E -E, um, professional Nail Lamp. When I went searching, I wanted like a really strong one because the initial little lamp I got was, I think it was too, wasn't strong enough. So I looked for one that had like the most number of little lights, lamps underneath and, you know, as strong as possible. So I got this one. All right, I'll come back to you when we're done here for the next 60 seconds. All right, that's done. Feels hard. Oh. I don't have, I've never done much, oh gosh, it's heavy. I haven't done much in um, in UV resin, I really haven't. All right, shall we test it? <laughs> Hope it doesn't leak. Let's flip it over. Ah! It's holding. All right, I'll give it a shake. Give it a shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Oh, look, you guys, look. I do have a bubble though, is that... Is that normal? Are we supposed to have a bubble? <laughs> I know I said I'm leaving a bubble on the top, but now I don't know if I want a bubble. Will it still move as well if there's no bubble? Maybe it will. I can fix that. Like, I didn't realise it was going to have a, a bubble. That's, that's kind of annoying me. But I love that. I'm, I'm happy I put that lighter pink in. And it is moving nice and slowly. Look, didn't take much to shake it up, did it? Shake, 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 shake your booty. All right, um, I want to get rid of that bubble. I don't like it. <laughs> how, they say, how are you going to get rid of the bubble? Well, I'm going to make a hole in the surface because it's only a little bit of plastic. I'm going to pop a little bit more water in, put another plastic on, re-UV it, uh, and that'll get rid of it. Because look, you don't know until you do these things and that, that's, that's doing my head in. Yep, all right. Let's fix this. I'm going to use my little blade. Oh gosh, it's quite, oh, quite hard. Let's just cut a little piece out. In fact, we can just, we can just flip the flap over. Flap the flip, flip the flap. There we go like so. Now I am going to have to get a little tiny funnel and I'm going to use the one that came with my um, white alcohol ink. That's it there. So the hole should fit in there nicely, <laughs> except the flap's gone back over. Um, I hope you guys don't mind me taking so long with this video. It's a bit of a learning curb for me too. All right, so that's there. I've got some water still in here. Okay, it's oozing out the top, so I'm saying, we'll say that that's done. Um, the actual funnel is displacing a little bit of that liquid. I'm going to dry that, hey. I don't know if I can put any more in there. Oh, like just a, a drop. I'm just going to get a drop on the end of my stick there so if you're going to go to all this trouble to get rid of the bubble you don't want a bubble even if it's just a, a tiny bubble it's 
just going to drop by drop. So I guess fill it up as much as you can then before you put your little plastic lid on it. Unless you want the, the bubble. Maybe you want the bubble. I don't know. Like, like I said, I've never done this before. Never done it before. All right, so that's there. Um, I had just a little bit more of the the plastic. It's this little tiny, tiny piece. Don't need a big piece. Just a little bit to cover that hole. Can't see where the hole is anymore. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. There we go. Pop that down. Have I got any water coming out? I hope not. Just making sure anything that oozed out is just gone. Okay, put my blade away. Put my lid back on my resin. Alrighty, let's do the lamp again. Another 60 seconds for the lamp. Sorry about this, you guys. I didn't know. But look, you can fast forward. Or if you're like me and have no idea what you're doing when it comes to snow globes, you may appreciate <laughs> all the little, little hacks that we're doing here, right, to get it right. Learn from me. As I always say, do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> and this is just one of those occasions. I'll be back when this is done. Righto, should we have another look? I guess the upside to this is now it's got double plastic on the top. So that's it before it's shooken up. Oh, there's still a little bubble in there. It's only tiny though. Give it a shake. I'll do it a little slower actually so that you can see what it's doing. I hate people that just go like, oh, like shake, 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 and you go, slow down, I can't see what's going on in there. All right, so I've, I can still see a little bit of clarity, like transparency. Look, there's a tiny little bubble there. But I'm not gonna do it again. I'll, just, I'll know better next time. It's not, it's not as big as before, and it kind of just disappears into all that glitter, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry about it. It's really heavy. Oh, shall we weigh it? Let's weigh it and we'll see what it weighs. Turn that on. All right, so here's an, here's an empty one. Oops, we're on pounds, grams, zero. We'll weigh that, six grams. We'll zero that now and then we'll pop that on. Wow, 120. Four ounces, you guys, four ounces, 120 grams of, uh, or mils of water in that. So there you go. We should write that down. All right, 120. Now, the next thing I want to do is, well, I've still got you here if you haven't already run away. Um, I'm going to dust the inside of my little skull. Um, I don't want to do it all the way. I want to do, I want to do the teeth just as high as the teeth. Um, I may not even do at the back. I may just do, I may just do that bit there, actually. I think that'll be better. Yeah, I'll just do the teeth. And I'm using the Let's Resin Holographic Glitter, the purple. That's my all-time favorite. All-time favorite. So let's just get this in here. So just, like I said, I'm just going to do the teeth, where the toofy pegs are. Try not to put too much in because I don't want it going over the rest of the skull. Now, I'm not adding any black to this. Uh, once I've done this, I'm going to mix up some clear resin. And I'm just going to pour clear resin in it. So you're not going to see like a huge holographic effect from this. Um, purple, pinky purple kind of holographic powder. It's just going to be a shimmer, which is fine because this is this is the star here. This is the star. 
So we'll just put a little bit in there. I'm just going to come up to this point here. See these points here? I'm just going to go on the inside of those. And then I'll tap out the excess. Love this glitter. It's like my all-time favourite glitter. Holographic glitter. It's super, super fine. Let's go up this side as well. Oops, that's probably a bit much. Don't need all that. Tap some back. <laughs> it's only a little bottle. Don't use it up too fast. Uh, if you do want this holographic glitter, I'll pop a link to Let's Resin down in my description. It's not specifically for this glitter, but it's just a link to any of the products. So if you use that link um, on anything that you buy, you'll get the 10% discount. Okay, I think that's it. Let's just tap, 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 tap. All right, that's it. That is it. Now, I know from um, watching other people do this, skull that it takes I think they said 10 ounces which is about 300 grams so I'm going to mix that up I am going to use my platinum river table resin because it's a it's a deep pour resin um, and then and then we'll be back actually before I mix up my resin I'm not going to need 300 grams am I because this weighs 120 so I might just make up 200 um, and see how that goes. Otherwise, I'm going to have heaps left over, aren't I? I've mixed up my resin. Um, I've got 150 grams of A, 64 grams of B, so that's 214 grams. And then it occurred to me that if I drop this in, it's just going to sink all the way down to the bottom because it's heavy. I was dreaming about snow globes last night, thinking, okay, this is what I'm going to do, this is what I'm going to do, and then I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do this. And it didn't occur to me until right now that it's going to sink, and I don't want it to be right at the top. I want, kind of want it suspended in the middle. And because I've already mixed up my resin, I've got to do something quickly. It has got a long work time, but I still need to do something quickly. So I'm going to try um, a little bit of the UV resin... I'm not sure how, I know you probably can't pour it too thick, but let's just put some in there. I'll do it in a couple of stages, I'll just pop some in there. And then, um, do you have to torch it? Okay, I'm just going to do this in stages. It'll only take, it should only take a few minutes. Um, if that'll sit on there. No, nope. I'll have to hold it. It should only take a few minutes. I'll just do a few layers. I only want it to be sort of that thick. Uh, just so that my snow globe, hollow globe, it's not really snow at all, <laughs> um, isn't going to be right up against the mould. I want, you know, a, a bit of resin around this, the whole thing. Yeah, so anyway, I'm going to do this. I'm going to add a bit more of my UV resin. I'll do this again and I'll... I'll Hopefully it'll set. I don't know. We'll see. I'll let you know when I'm done. Okay, so I did I did two layers um, of the UV resin. It gets really hot. Like I was worried about it. It's really quite hot. So I'm not. I would like to make it deeper, like thicker, but I'm not going to because I think if I do another layer, um, it might really damage. The mold. I'm just putting that back under the table. All right, here we go. Let's do this, shall we? Put my gloves back on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour some of the clear resin in first. It's been sitting for you know 10 minutes or so, so it's, it's nice and bubble free. Um, but yeah, I would have liked to. If I do this again, I'll put some like you know give myself a bit of extra time and put some Platinum 360 Plus in there, you know, about a centimetre, half an inch or so, um, and then let that set, and then pour, and then put the globe in. I'm just going to pour onto my stick 
just so that uh, I help eliminate any splashing and bubbles. So there we go, I'll just put about a third in, third deep. Oh my gosh, I'm nervous. This is terrifying. <laughs> I didn't realize it was going to be such a big ordeal, but once I've done it and I know what I'm doing, then, you know, it'll be easier, I think. I'm sure. No, I'm sure it will be. Let's just pop that in there. And I'm going to hold it with the, the sides here as well and just lower it in. Look at that. It's in. It's in. <laughs> oh, there's a bubble. Pesky bubble. Probably just happened as I dropped it in. Um, um, um. Let's get that out. I can see it sitting there. Get out. There we go. It's clung to the side of that. Are there any more in there? I don't know. It's weird because you can see like a reflection of the teeth and stuff. So it's hard to know if that's it. It's spinning, if it's a bubble or not. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's just pour the rest of this in. Now, if the ball spins a little bit, that's which it is at the moment. That's okay. I'll I'll keep sort of coming back every hour or so um, and just repositioning it if I need to. Oh gosh, look at that! I could have made up a little bit of extra resin. Are we nearly to the? Oh no, and look, we're not quite to the top. Wow, could have done a little bit more. It must take more than um, three ounce, uh, 10 ounces, hey? Eh? Maybe it does. Once, it, once it's out, I can weigh it. Got a little bit of unmixed resin there. Oh gosh, that was nerve wracking. I have no idea where it's sitting. Let's just torch the top of that. I'm torching the resin, not the mold, so that's okay. Um, about, oh, still about half a centimetre. This mold actually tips that way. I've got more room at this end than I have at that end. I'm going to have to put something under this end. I'm going to make, make up just a tiny bit more resin because, because I want to put something on top. I'll show you in a minute. I'm sorry this video is taking so long. I keep stopping and starting and... I love a challenge, I do. So this, this is fun for me, you know, all, working out all these challenges um, and trying to get outcomes, you know, good outcomes for those little challenges that I've come up against today. So I enjoy this sort of thing, I do. Um, I'm going to mix up some more resin. Um, I'm going to prop this end up because this end's flush and that end's like got about that much room. You know what I'm not gonna make up anymore because it's gonna be such a tiny little amount and then I might pour bubbles back into it I'm, I'm just gonna leave it I am however going to put my little sheet my holographic sheet silicon inlay over the top oh it's still got dust it's still got mica powder on it I thought I'd got it all off let's get some more tape it's been sitting there <laughs> I haven't used it for a while it's got a bit got a bit dusty just put some tape on it and get that off. Um, I have made some big sheets. I haven't actually listed them yet for sale, but I will. I will. Now, it may not get really good contact because um, the resin is lower than the, the top, but we'll just try, hey? We'll just try. And because uh, it's white, you can't really see through it, so I'm not going to actually know if it's got good contact or not. No, I don't think it's going to do that at all. Um, all right, I am going to have to. I, I'm going to have to mix up some more, just so that it's level, and then that could go over the top. Bummer. Righto, <laughs> made up another ounce, and I've pop, pop, I've actually tipped my board up rather than trying to lift the um, skull at one end. I've just propped my board up on a few pop sticks. I've also put a piece of plastic underneath the skull 
because when I when it's full like this and I lay my little uh, holographic inlay over the top it's likely to ooze out like the water does when you jump into a full bath of water <laughs> and it overflows <laughs> no we don't want to do that do we all right here we go um, now my other piece that I was going to use it's still got a bit of resin on it it's it's still got a lot of glitter and dust and stuff on it so I'm just gonna put it to the side that resin can dry and I can peel it off so this is one of my other sheets I've just cut a piece out of it this is just my little practice sheet that I did um, I'll just put it over there all right so I've just cut a little piece out and I'm gonna kind of bend it in the center like that so we get contact in the, the middle hopefully and then I'm kind of pushing it down not too much though because I don't want all the resin to eat, ooze out um, I have no idea if that's sitting or not no, I think it is I lift it up and the, the silicone's wet so let's assume that it, it is okay Ah, that's oozing out. There we go. <laughs> Just as well I've got that little bit of plastic under there. All right, you guys. My, my gosh, that was a mammoth effort. Thanks for staying with me. We shall get there in the end. Um, yeah, and now, oh, now the wait. <gasps> At least 24 hours. Oh, oh dear. Having to wait. I hate to wait. All right. That's, that's all we can do now. We have to wait. Uh, wish me luck. The, the ball's not actually moving. It's um, up against the the bridge of the nose, I think it is, from memory. Something there. There's something that's pointing out and, and the, the globe is sitting up against those. So it's not going to move anywhere and I can't see because the mould is opaque and the top's opaque so we're just going to have to cross fingers and um, hope to the resin gods that it works <gasps> i'll see you soon wish me luck right so it has been um a day and a half i poured this mold yesterday morning and now it's 2 30 in the afternoon the following day so um i gave it a bit of a squeeze this morning and it still felt soft but I'm so impatient. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it out. All right, let's um, let's peel this off first, and hopefully it's. Oh, I can see. Is that a bubble? Oh no, is that a bubble? No. Yep. Nope. Yep. Nope. I don't know. Uh... Oh. Ha oh, hang on. No, that's it's a piece of resin. <laughs> it's a thin piece of resin. Oh, okay. I've had a bubble under there. Oh, never mind. I didn't push it down enough. Oh, never mind. We have half holographic. Oh, that's a shame. Never mind. I just needed to have a little bit more resin. Little, fill it up a little bit more. I don't know how it got so low there, actually. Look at that. It's quite low there. Mustn't have put enough in. Hmm, that's okay. Um... I could, I mean, I could if I wanted to put some more resin in there and put it back again, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to. I'm just going to see how this goes. I've got a little bit of, a little bit of um, holographics there. A little bit. Okay. All right. And I can see the, the snow globe in there. That's, it was just an afterthought really of putting the holographic inlay down. But the, the resin has gone over the top a little bit, so that'll there'll be a little bit of picking to do. See how it's gone over there? When I've put the um, inlay over the top, it's pushed it over the edge, so we'll get these little bits. But that's okay, I'll just peel them off. Um, you know what I might do, actually? Because I've already cut this one down to size, I might actually cut it like put put that down and cut around you know draw around it and cut it out so it's the exact same size so that next time I want to use this instead of just putting a square on I actually put it in and it sits just on the inside of that 
I think I'll do that. Then I don't have to worry about it overlapping because the insert will sit inside the edge of the mold. What do you think? That's a good idea, isn't it? And then, and then you don't have to worry. Because I've got, like, I've got a big sheet of it. I can cut it down to fit my pieces that I'm likely to use more often, I think. So I'll do that and then I'll use it again in, in, um, in another skull mold, hey? I'll show you how that works. All right, without further ado, let's stop fussing with this, with these little bits. <laughs> oh, I'm super keen to see how this is going to work. I am going to spray a little bit of alcohol down the sides of the mold just to help it uh, break the surface tension and release. There's a little bit there as well. Get off there. Get off my mold. Uh, okay, I'll do it later. Um, I'm just using the 100% um, isopropyl. Probably don't need to do it down this end, but this end here where it's really big, we'll just squirt some down there. I shall squirt some down there as well. Squirt some down there. And I'll squirt down, some down there. All right, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to give it a bit of a massage. And you can look at that. You can feel that it's, it's already loosened all the way around. See? Look at that already loosened all the way around so all I need to do is basically just squeeze that and look it just pops out so easily ah, <laughs> look at that oh my gosh give me a heart attack look at that <laughs> I scared myself <laughs> I thought I was gonna drop it oh my gosh oh actually maybe I shouldn't have put alcohol on it because <laughs> you don't want it to smear you gotta be careful wait till your resin's totally set Oh my gosh, you guys, look. Let's give it a bit of a, a little bit of a swirl. We won't shake it up too much. I don't like when people shake things too fast. I can't see what's going on when they shake them up too much. Okay, so there's our little bit of shimmer shimmer there, just along that, that teeth and jawline there, which is all I wanted. I didn't want it to make it like too dark or distract from what was going on up here. I'll need to trim that off though. Look at that. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Wow. Look at that. Give it a bit of a shake, shake, shake. It's all moving around in there. There's our little bubble that we've left in there. <laughs> what do you think? So we've got some clear here behind the head. It's, it's, um, Distorted, that's the word. You know when you're looking underwater and things look bigger? And you look through that and it looks as if it looks as if the whole skull is is full. But it's not, it's just that little round bauble. But it's it's so deceptive. Because it looks it's all magnified and it looks as if it's more than just a ball in there, but it's not, it's not. Oh look at it. Oh it's lovely. Well, not that I like skulls, but as a piece of art, it's lovely. <laughs> it's lovely. Now, can we see? I'm actually really glad that the little bit of ho um, holographics that we can see is under the, the teeth there. Because when you're looking down this way, you can actually see the holographics through the teeth and, and you know, through the eyes. So I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm just going to get up on my little step. Then I can see what you're seeing. So can you see the can you see the little bit of holographics down here through the through the teeth and through the side there? Hopefully you can. It's probably not so noticeable in these lights, but maybe when I take it outside. Love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. My daughter, Christy's going to love this because she loves purple. It's her favorite color. Don't know how she feels about skulls, though. They're a bit, um, what's the word? Macabre. <laughs> but um, I love it. All right. Oh, I'll have to use this again. And um, definitely going to cut myself a piece to fit on the inside of that. And I don't have to worry about it going over the sides and not touching the wet resin. So... Here we go. I've learned something from this. I, I think it's great when I can learn something from a project. 
hopefully you guys have learnt something too. Oh, the other thing I'm going to do next time I do a snow globe, um, I'm going to put the resin in, the clear resin. I'm going to drop the snow globe in when it's empty so it floats. Um, I won't put it. I won't fill it up all the way, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait until it, the resin sets and the because the ball's hollow and plastic, it should float. Um, and then once it's set, then I'm going to add my my liquid center. So I'm going to do that next. So stay tuned for next time I do a skull because I'm going to do it a little bit differently and see if we get a different outcome. And I'll do better on this. <laughs> but look, for my first attempt, I think it's amazing. I love it, I love it, I love it. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of it. And uh, I'll see you again real soon for the next video. Take care, guys. Love you all. Bye for now.